As highlighted in the segment one of this three-part educational series, bufo toads, also known as cane toads, are a non-native invasive species in Florida. These large toads have glands on their shoulders that squirt out a poison that can be deadly to a pet that attacks or swallows a cane toad. So if you know or suspect you have cane toads on your property and you've decided you want to remove them, you're going to need to catch them and humanely euthanize them. Watch video two in this series to learn how to positively identify cane toads because there are several species of native toads, in particular the native southern toad, that look a lot like cane toads and you don't want to confuse them. At this point I'd like to note, it's unethical and against state law to release cane toads elsewhere. And by relocating captured toads, you're just helping them spread and may actually be causing a problem for someone else. An efficient way to capture cane toads is by hand. They're most active at night, so searching for cane toads on a warm night after a rain enhances your chances of finding toads. You want to take a flashlight, walk around slowly in your yard, shining your light on the ground, scanning back and forth as you look for cane toads that will be just sitting up. Look around shrubs, debris piles, and other places where they hide, and also be sure to scan open areas of grass. When you find a toad, keep the light focused on it. Have a plastic bag with you, one of the ones you get from a grocery store, and use this plastic bag as a glove. With your light still on the toad, approach it quickly and grab it with your bagged hand. It's important to be deliberate and decisive. Don't hesitate when catching the toad. If it tries to hop away, quickly pursue it and grab it with your bagged hand. Once you've caught the toad, simply turn the bag inside out and tie it closed. Once you've captured the toad, the next step is to humanely euthanize it. The two methods of euthanasia that I'm going to demonstrate are both scientifically proven to be humane ways to kill toads. Both rely on initial anesthesia followed by freezing to ensure death. The use of anesthesia ensures the toad does not feel pain when it's frozen and freezing ensures that it's dead. Again, I want to stress, you need to have positively identified the toad as a cane toad you don't want to take a chance on using, euthanizing a native toad, so any toad less than an inch and a half you should just leave alone. You've got two options to anesthetize the toads before you place them in the freezer. Number one is application of a benzocaine or lidocaine ointment or spray followed by freezing for 24 hours. This method has been approved by the American Veterinary Association for experiments on amphibians. The second method is chilling in the refrigerator followed by freezing for 24 hours. This method has shown to be humane by the research of Dr. Rick Schein and his colleagues in Australia. Alright, so to euthanize the toad you want to have a benzocaine or lidocaine containing ointment or spray. You can purchase these at any local grocery or drugstore. They're used to treat skin irritations and toothaches. It's important that the product you use contains 20% benzocaine or lidocaine. I've got some toads right here, one of which was bagged just a little while ago. What you want to do is take your toad, untie the bag, you feel around, get a grip on the toad around its waist. Pull back the bag so that the toad's belly or back is exposed. Then simply take your ointment or alternatively your spray, apply it liberally to the toad's belly and then rub that in. The benzocaine will be absorbed by the circulatory system of the frog, the vessels are very near the belly and in 10 to 15 minutes this toad is going to be knocked out and at that point you can place it in your freezer. Cooling then freezing the toad is a simpler option but still humane and doesn't cause the toad any pain. And it also doesn't require you to touch the toad. All you need to do is take the bag toad, put it into a plastic container, and put it in the refrigerator for two to three hours. You can also use a plastic container by transferring a benzocaine treated toad into your freezer. The cool of the refrigerator acts as a physical anesthetic 
just as the benzocaine acts as a chemical method of anesthesia. After two or three hours in the fridge, transfer the toad to the freezer for 24 hours. After 24 hours, take the toad out of the container that's in the freezer and then wash or reuse your container or recycle it and take the toad outside to your trash. It's important to euthanize toads shortly after you capture them. Don't wait until later. Bag toads are not going to suffocate because the oxygen demand of a cool toad or one treated with benzocaine is very, very low. And finally, be sure to wash your hands after handling toads. There are also some things that you do not want to do. You do not want to euthanize any toad less than an inch and a half long. You do this to avoid killing native species. You also do not want to toss a live bagged cane toad in the garbage. Also, do not use insect sprays, bleach, or other household chemicals on the cane toads. And finally, do not release captured toads elsewhere. They must be euthanized. They might return to their capture location or you could be assisting in their spread. They might cause problems for others and it's also against the state law to release a cane toad. You also should be sure to report cane toad sightings to EDMAPS so officials can track where they are in the state. Or you can simply report them on your smartphone using the I've Got One app. Now if you're unable or not willing to capture and euthanize toads, but you want them gone from your yard, you can contact a Nuisance Wildlife Service. I want to tell you though, there's a charge for this service, so get the details before you hire someone. You can visit the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission's website to locate a nuisance trapper in your area. For more information about cane toads, view the cane toad fact sheet at this UF IFAS Extension website. Thank you for your interest in helping control this invasive species. For more information on invasive species in Florida, contact the UF IFAS Extension Office in your county.